let's look at an application of a trig graph. An object at the end of a spring oscillates up and down above its rest position. Its height, h centimeters above the bench at time t seconds, is given by this equation. h is equal to 20 minus 4 cos 360t. Sketch the graph of the above equation. So this is a spring and this is a bench. So this is the rest position and it's oscillating um, about its rest position. Now it's, I think it is resting. So this is the rest position, so it goes up and down. So let's write the equation height above the bench is given by the equation um, 20, or let me write like this, minus 4 cos, minus 4 cos 360t plus 20. So as you have learned uh, in my previous videos, we, uh, I would like to write all these things. I, you can pause this video and try to write what is baseline, what is amplitude, uh, then maximum, minimum, and uh, you've got a period, you want to find period, and pitch. Okay, and uh, is there a phase shift? There is no phase shift. So this is the period and the pitch. Let me write the starting point. The starting point. So these are the five or six facts you need to write from the equation. So hopefully you have written it. So baseline is 20. Your amplitude is not negative 4, it is 4. So your maximum is baseline plus amplitude, which is 24. And your minimum is always baseline minus amplitude, which is 16. Your period is 360 divided by the coefficient of x. This is 360 divided by 360. Okay, that is, the period is 1 second. The period is 1 second here. So you can say one oscillation is completed in 1 second. So pitch would be one quarter of a second, or you can say 0.25 seconds. And your starting point is zero. So you know these facts, so let us sketch it. So this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis. On y-axis, you're taking height, h, and on the x-axis, you're taking time. So you know it's one second, so this is quarter second. Then you got a half a second, half second. So let me scroll this up slightly. This is half second. Then you got three quarter second. And then you got a one second. So you got 360 also, you can think in a different way. Within 360, you got, you're going to get 360 oscillations. That, that's what 360 means. That means one oscillation takes one second. So you know the, this is your minimum, this is your, this is your maximum, and this is your baseline, somewhere between. Okay, so this is not drawn to sketch. So you know, okay, yeah, now it's a negative cos graph, and negative cos graph starts at, starts at the uh, minimum because it flips over so this is uh, baseline sorry minimum baseline maximum baseline and minimum so let me write the facts are the facts your minimum is 16 your baseline is 20 and your maximum is 24 and then let's sketch the graph Sketching the graph, so this is your graph. So within one second, so when it's half a second, it reaches the maximum. So you start starts at this is a position of rest. Hmm? Also, uh, what will be the rest? Okay, so yeah, baseline is your rest. Okay, it can go down. So from baseline, 
So this is your minimum that it goes, okay? From minimum it goes to the baseline, maximum baseline back, okay? So let's confirm this on a calculator. So get your calculators out and go to graph. My calculator by default changes the radian, uh, degrees into radians. So first, always it's a good habit to check your angle. It should be in degrees. Okay, now I know the equation. It is minus 4 cos bracket 360 x plus 20. So now I need to change the scale. On x-axis, I want, say, from 0 to 1. So shift F3. I'll go from 0 to 1 at a step of 0 0.25. Echo 0 0.25. 0 0.25. And your minimum, so let's say, uh, let's go from 20 to 24, slightly higher at a step of 2. And then draw the graph. So this is your one oscillation. So let's confirm it. So G sol, your maximum should be half a second. Okay, so suppose if you want to draw two cycles or two wavelengths, let's go from 0 to 2. You can see two wavelengths. If you've got two wavelengths, so your minimum should be at 1. So G sol min at 116. Okay? So now we can answer these questions. When time is 0, or how, when time is 0, how high was the, how high above the bench is the object? So when time is 0, so... When time is zero, what's this is when time is zero, it is sixteen yeah. So if you put so if you want to do without the calculator, so let's put t is equal to zero yeah. So t is equal to zero, so height would be minus four cos three sixty times zero is going to be cos zero plus twenty. So let's use a calculator. Go to run, so it's minus 4 cos 0 plus 20. That will give you 16. So when time started, the height was 16. So how can you do that on a calculator? So go to graph. The graph is already there. Then draw it, and the GSOL find y when x is equal to 0. So when x is 0, when t is 0, your height is 16 centimeters. So you can see height is 16 centimeters. Okay. Now, after how many seconds does it reach the height of 21.3 centimeters? So let's first understand it graphically. So this is 20, so 21.3 would come somewhere here. So the question is, this is, say, 21.3. This is 21.3. When does it reach it? So it's after 0.25 seconds, you can say graphically. But to find, we'll use a calculator to answer this. So basically what you do is, they're asking you what is x in your graph. Of course, the question is, what is t? What is t? What is your t when your heart? What is t? Sorry. What is t? is the question mark when your height is 21.3 so calculator <clears throat> on your calculator this is if you want to do it on a calculator you're asking the question what is your x you want to calculate x when your y is 21.3 so let's use a calculator <clears throat> so you go g sol and f6 you want to calculate x when y is 21.3. <clears throat> so it's 0.3 seconds. So you can see this is 0.25, so it does make sense, your time. You can say in 1 dp or 2 dp, so it's 0.3 seconds. So at 0.3 seconds, it reaches the height of 21.3. So now, if the question is, suppose, when does it reach the same height next time? So this is what they ask you. 
So graphically, you can say it is about 0 0.75 seconds. So what do you do? So if you press this key, it's 0 0.69 or 0 0.70 seconds or 0 0.7 seconds. So this next time it reaches the height, so it reach it starts at 16, it reaches maximum and then it's coming back. So this height, this is 0 0.7. So you can see the next time it reaches the same height is, so this is say T1, T2 would be 0 0.7 seconds in 1 BP. 0.7, am I right? 0 0.697 is 0 0.7, 0 0.7 seconds.